Let's talk, of course, about the great unifier in chief. Speaking of that, uh, in Joe Biden and the State of the Union that happened today, it's one of the great bits of BS theatre that happens in American politics. Half the room hates him, half the room loves him. Everyone pretends that, well, you get it. But what about some of the uh, over the top, including just how excited they were on ABC in America about this? They had a whole movie trailer for it. <laughs> This is an ABC News special, The State of the Union. President Biden stands before a divided Congress and a polarized nation to deliver his vision of the next year. We're the United States of America. And nothing, 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 nothing is beyond our capacity. You know, just because he does the aviator thing does not make him Tom Cruise in Top Gun. <laughs> so movie trailers for a really long, boring speech, please. Now, we've got all versions of Biden, which, of course, is partly his mental state at the moment. we got yelling Biden. We made clear, and I made clear in my personal conversations, which have been many, with President Xi, that we seek competition, not conflict. But I will make no apologies that we're investing in, to make America stronger. Investing in American innovation and industries will define the future that China intends to be dominated. Investing in our alliances and working with our allies to protect advanced technologies so they will not be used against us. Modernizing our military to safeguard stability and determine, to, to deter aggression. Today, we're in the strongest position in decades to compete with China or anyone else in the world. Anyone else in the world. And I'm committed. I promise he got louder than that. And the generals aren't allowed to stand, by the way. Or their commander-in-chief, who apparently they ignore when it comes to shooting a balloon out of the sky, uh, will have a go at them. Uh, he was very soft when it came to police reform, but I want to show you the last bit here. Because basically, you saw in real time a politician who was peddling an old talking point and a lie and his political opponents saying, sorry, mate, that's just not true. So my, many of, some of my Republican friends want to take the economy hostage. I get it, unless I agree to their economic plans. All of you at home should know what those plans are. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans... Some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. Let me give you, anybody who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. I don't know why the Congresswoman was dressed like Madonna, but fair enough. Um, and, of course, the media. Well, they ate it all up. Remember, they already built the trailer saying it was amazing, so the review was, it's awesome! This was the best speech I have ever heard him deliver. He was passionate. He, it was extremely well written. He clearly had practiced it. Uh, and he, he, he delivered a powerful message to the American people. This was the best version of Biden that we've seen in this iteration of Biden. And to the degree that people had questions about the vigor and the resilience of this president, I, he did as well as he could tonight. 